Hello viewers, I'm the Madman and welcome back to Let's Play Let's Replay Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. Yes viewers, I'm back at the title screen because I like I was I was recording my videos, but I realized viewers that it was just sad that my civilization was just so pitiful and I mean so viewers I decided, you know, let's just start a new game. I mean, I don't, I mean, viewers, I don't want to do Warlord, I don't want to bump down the Warlord or Chieftain. I mean, come on, viewers, Chieftain is way too easy. So I'm going to stick to King. And viewers, I'm becoming a warmongering nation. <clears throat> ah. Excuse me, sorry about that. Americans no, no, no. begin the game with a great person. We have a Sherman tank, flying fortress, and a Mustang fighter. So near the modern era, viewers, the Americans become, well... We get 2% interest on our gold reserves, we can rush units for half price, uh, plus one food, so yeah, as you can see viewers, I'm going for a domination victory with the Americans. Now if looking at my side, we're unstoppable. Well, until John Wilkes Booth shows up. So yeah, viewers, uh, yeah, Gandhi kicked my ass. Seriously, viewers, I thought, what happened to that passive aggression? What happened to that non-violence policy? What the hell happened to that? Oh yeah, it was okay when he was uh, real and alive, but in a video game, he's a... He's a killer! So that's it, viewers. We're pulling out all the stops. We're going... We're, we're no longer going for culture, or going for gold. We're going for blood. My liege. Oh yeah, viewers, this is a perfect spot. Washington. You know what? Add him. Just also, uh, I know some of you guys said some of you guys are probably thinking I should have gone with the Germans, but uh, on a uh, comment board on one of my videos, two viewers have been fighting. I mean, really fighting about the Germans and like Nazis and stuff, and like what happened. So, um, okay, we call this Smoky Plains, and. Shakazulu! Hey, how you doing, bro? <laughs> yes, you we'll have peace. I, I, we'll have peace. It's because I like your laugh. Yes. <laughs> Finish that and get it. And I can't build settlers yet. Okay, you defend the city. No settlers yet? Come on, seriously. I want settlers. I want that gem. I need my gold. No. No, get out. Can I build those settlers? Perfect. I need me gold. Great, I'm starting to sound like a leprechaun. Uh, get bronze work. Bronze work is definitely in this, uh, it's a need. Uh, uh, and they took our gold. You. Alright, here we go. Go there. Or is it right there? I don't know. We recently heard rumors that someone has discovered an ancient artifact, Ark of the Covenant. Hmm. Probably the Zulus. Okay. You know what? B wait. Build a wonder. Um. Uh, build a great lighthouse. Oh yeah, this is a perfect town. Settle here. Hip you know what, viewers? And of course, as usual, mega time. Oh wait, should I call this underworld? Nah, an underworld. I mean, underworld was all full of old rules, but ah, eh, screw it. We're calling it mega time. Oh yeah, viewers, this is my third uh, civilization, so third time's the charm, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? You. Awaken, defend the city. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do that. Uh, wait. Ah, uh, we can't see. Ah, uh, Zulu's again. Caesar, you bastard! Yes, we'll have peace. We'll have peace at the moment. That's Rome. Man. There we go. 
defend the city. Whoa, 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 shit, viewers. The Zulus are right there, man. I got a feeling our first battle is going to be with the Zulus. Let me just say that, viewers. The Zulus... I mean, don't get me wrong. I got no problem with the Zulus. It's just... Well... Well, during the... I won't declare war on them now, viewers, because, um, actually, viewers, um... They actually have a bit of a... I don't want to say an advantage, but during the ancient era, their troops actually get, like, a... I don't know. I, it's been a while. But they get, like, a... Ah, oh, cool, we got bronze work. Uh, uh, iron work. But like I said, viewers, they get like a boost of like they, their troops work better. See, viewers, the Zulus work like this. They're, they're, they're sort of like the Aztec, like they're an ancient race. The Zulus are, the Zulu, I'm not sure if the Zulus are still around today, but, um, but they probably are. You know what, you build a building. Who wins? Uh, wait, how much for a road? Yeah, build a road. But I'm just saying this, viewers. Basically, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but the Zulus, as through the game, the timeline inside the game, the farther we go through time, the weaker the Zulu nation. When they start off, like, right now, where the era we are right now, they're pretty much, like, one of the top players. But as we progress further, they become slowly weaker. No offense to anyone who... I'm just saying, that's just how it is. You build markers. Uh, yeah, you. Form an army. Stay right there. Now build some archers. Wow, viewers. I think those uh, two times that I got my butt kicked, I'm just finally starting to become a better, like, leader. You. How much? Hmm. No. Okay, we got iron work now. Pottery. Uh oh, I do not. Settlers, honestly. Okay, and the Romans built Stonehenge. Cultural victory. Yeah, yeah. Well, only thing viewers I care about is the domination victory. Right there. I'm interested. You finish that. You finish that. But viewers, seriously, they're building settlers right there. Um, oh, man, viewers, if they do put something there, th this is gonna get out of whack real quick. Unless they're planning to put a boat. Oh no, no, no! You can't enter my territory. Uh, ah, shit, viewers. I think we're just about to experience our first battle. Wait, you know what? Manage my workers real quick. Increase production. Ah. Yeah, you better run, settlers. Yeah, retreat. There we go. Alright, we can, okay, I think we should, uh, we can only build barracks. You, finish that. What can you build? Still barracks? Mm. I think the Zulus are kind of screwed on this deal. I kind of blocked them in. I made a blockade. I made it. A checkpoint. <laughs> they can't get past me. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna glitch. Like they're just gonna go back. It. They're just gonna go like here, then here, and then they're gonna go here to here until I eventually just snap and kill them. And of course, they're doing it. <laughs> Rome has been recognized as the world's greatest city. They got Stonehenge. Big friggin' whoop de do. Form an army. Stay there. You rush that unit. Wait, no. Eh, yeah, stay there. You know what? Build that. What are you building? You. Build a barracks. Barracks for everyone! And the Zulus are just gonna go walk, they're just gonna walk back and forth. And we got pottery. Yay! Now get, get, uh, masonry. Uh, viewers, they're just gonna go walking back and forth like idiots. You know what, viewers? It's a good time to take a break because actually, viewers, I got a couple things to announce. Uh, let's save the game group. right here. Yeah, let's just uh, save it right here. Uh, okay, viewers, a couple things I got, and I have to announce. Well, 
this Monday, viewers, is the midnight release of Mass Effect 2, and I'm going to be there because I beat Mass Effect 1 a long time ago. I kind of put it down because I was kind of bored with it for a bit, but I can't wait for Mass Effect 2. I can't wait to use that assassin. That, that guy, I love his just the voice, that alien, that green one. I don't know what race he is, but he's just so cool. He's just so, like, he's, he's like the alien equivalent to Hitman 47. He's just so cool. Plus, because I pre-ordered GameStop, I'm going to get that cool, that weapon that, you know, causes an explosion and then implosion. They get sucked into a black hole and where they end up in someone's toilet. <laughs> and plus, I get that kick-ass armor, that stuff that just makes me look so badass. Alright, viewers, with that announced, uh, next time on Let's Play Civilization Revolution, domination, baby. So, tune in next time, viewers, for more. Later.